again, everybody. I'm Maddie. I'm Emily. And we're going to talk to you about body mass index and what that means. So because most of you are fifth graders around the ages of 9 to 11, we're going to talk about percentiles when it comes to BMI. When you get older, there's a different way to look at it. And we'll also explain that at the end. So as it says on your handout, BMI is just a way to measure your health through evaluating your weight compared to your height, your gender, and your age, just to see if your weight matches sort of the composition of your body as it should. The important thing to know about this is that if you're carrying too much weight on your body, it can hurt your health. Having this extra weight makes your heart work harder. It makes your muscles have to work harder. You're just doing a little bit more work than you need to. It's not about the looks, but it's how your body feels. It's about how much energy you have, how ready you are to go run and play whenever you want. So we do this by calculating using your height in centimeters, not inches or feet like they normally uh, tell you at the doctor, your weight in kilograms, your age in years, it's all relative to your age, and your gender, whether you're male or female. Yeah, so on your handout, you'll see that you have a link to a website. On that website, you can enter in your centimeters for your height and your kilograms for your weight. If you need help converting your pounds for weight, ask your parent to use the Google converter from pounds to kilograms, and you should be able to figure that out. And that goes for the feet inches to centimeters. So if you need help, just grab your parent and they should be able to help you out. Also with how to interpret any charts that this website gives you, your percentiles, the thing to know is that it just sort of gives you a category of if you're in a healthy weight, if you are a little bit underweight, or if you're overweight. These are not to be taken like strict guidelines because if you're more of an active person as well, muscle weighs more. So if you have a lot more muscle on your body, then it might weigh more and it might put you over a little bit. That is okay. Yes, so don't freak out about if, you, if your BMI says that you're overweight. Because most of my life, I was an athlete and I've always been overweight because of the muscle mass that I've always carried. So that's just one example from me. So just don't worry about it. Don't think that you're fat or anything along those lines because you're not. It's just a way to state how much percentage of body fat they think that you have based off of your height and weight. It's not super accurate, but it's a good measurement to have as a baseline. We also just don't want you guys to really focus on weight because Maddie and I, we look very similar body shapes, but I am much taller than Maddie is. So my weight is a lot higher than Maddie's is, but that's okay because we're both in healthy weights for our body types. Yeah. And so that's the same as you get older as well. But when you get older, there isn't necessarily a percentile. There's actually an equation that's used to measure whether you're in an underweight, a normal weight, or if you're overweight or obese. And so we gave you the percentiles. And if you'd like to learn more, you can go to the website that we have and it'll explain a little bit more about that. We have the link for the website on the handout we gave you and on the worksheet that you guys can be filling out the height and weight, all of that sort of stuff, okay? All right, I hope you enjoyed your time with us. Thank you. And I hope you keep active during all of this quarantine. Bye guys. Bye.